Sadly, this has been a month of hate. May is such a beautiful month, a month where the promise of spring comes to fruition. It's also my birthday month. Unfortunately, this month, this mostly beautiful month of May, has shown that something else is blossoming in this country. Hate. From the beginning of the month, there have been reports of expressions of hate against the LGBTQ community from Christian churches across the country. All Christians, of course, don't feel this way. Most likely don't. So these churches, with their tolerance for hateful speech, don't just affect the LGBTQ community, but the larger Christian community as well. It would be nice if some of the members of that larger Christian community spoke out as loudly and as firmly as the haters do. I know they do on YouTube, but where are the news reports? Many of the individuals in churches have backtracked somewhat on their original statements or behavior, trying to explain themselves. It hasn't worked. We know who and what they are. Some have said that they are afraid now that their hate has become public. How do they think members of the LGBTQ community have felt for years and years, especially around them? I wanted to give a roundup for the month. There are links and in basic info below. Now the dates I'm going by are the dates that the information appeared in the Huffington Post. So first we have Pastor Sean Harris of the Berrien Baptist Church of Fayetteville, North Carolina. Pastor Harris became somewhat infamous when he suggested that parents should punch their effeminate sons. Then we have Pastor Tim Rabon of the Beacon Baptist Church in Raleigh, North Carolina. Now, Pastor Rabon suggested that, well, if gay marriage is going to be allowed, marriage to beasts, animals, might be next. Then there's Pastor Ron Beatty of the Berrien Baptist Church of Winston-Salem, North Carolina. And Pastor Beatty thinks we should go backwards so to when gays were prosecuted and thinks that they should be prosecuted today just as they were historically. And of course, then there's Pastor Charles Worley of the Providence Road Baptist Church in Maiden, North Carolina. Pastor Worley thinks we should fence off all lesbians and gays and let them die off. And then there's Pastor Curtis Knapp of the New Hope Baptist Church in Seneca, Kansas. Pastor Knapp thinks that the U.S. government should kill gays. They won't, but he thinks the government should. And then there's Pastor Jeff Sangle of the Apostolic Church, Truth Ter Tabernacle Church. Now, he didn't say anything himself, but Pastor Sangle is the one who presided over the church where that child, that little four-year-old boy, saying, ain't no homo's going to make it to heaven. And then last for the month, we have Pastor David Leatherman of the Mountain Lake Independent Baptist Church of Oakland, Maryland. Pastor Leatherman says he likes the idea of killing gays. He doesn't think it should really be done, but he likes it. So that's our merry month of May. Don't tolerate hate. Fight it whenever you can. Thank you.